So the next thing you'll do is you'll just start to get to work and um, your tools are what's important here and so um, I like to make sure I like the tools that I'm using and so I have my favorite paring knife, I have a good pair of scissors, I have measuring tape, and then I have my solder, my solder, my cedar that's been soaking for a few, a little while. And so next I'll start to um, cut the cedar and then stripping it. I usually use a jerry stripper, but I don't have a jerry stripper today. Um, I forgot it, but I like scissor cutting it too anyway, because it feels like when you scissor cut it, you have less um, cedar waste. And so for today's project, I'm going to make a grad cap. And I saw that grad caps are 9 and 3 fourths inches long, but other people were saying that they make theirs 12 inches long. 12 by 12. And 12 by 12 looks more like it, but maybe I'll do 11 and a half. I don't really know. Maybe I'll do 13 inches long or 14 um, and then make it smaller if I need to. So I'm going to make my strips 14 inches long so that I can fold the ends over. And so right now I'm just cutting my strips and you can see that this strip isn't even so what I do here as I look for the straight side, which is this side, and then I'll thin this side down, kind of like a triangle. And then first I'll trim this side, and then I'll um, split it with a knife. So here's this side that I'm splitting. And then um, make this side straight. So this is when I decide um, how thick my pieces are going to be. So I have like a general size that I usually do because I like to twine in that same size. And then I'll just scissor cut it and keep doing the same process until I have enough pieces. and. Um, So I have this piece, and then I'm going to cut it again on this side because it's a little bit rough, but not really, just uneven.